All right, everyone. Welcome back for another one. And it's going to be a quick one today. Just a few things I wanted to point out to you guys. Uh, you know, first and foremost, want to take a look at the XRP chart. And, um, you know, you have to zoom in. As I said, this is weekly. So all you get is, uh, you know, straight lines. Uh, but if you zoom in a little, you can see here, um, we are breaking back up. Obviously found some support there around the 55-ish cent area, 50, 45 to 55 cent area. Uh, so now I wouldn't be surprised if you see maybe something like this start to form, which would just be a, a larger bull pennant. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised to see some continuation up, okay? And if this breaks out, the move is going to be massive. I personally believe um, that we could end up seeing all-time high for XRP by the end of the year. Uh, you know, we don't have that much more to go from a per percentage standpoint, to be honest. And um, as I've shown you, historically, XRP typically moves in like two to four week explosions, and then it rests basically i mean look back here in history we blasted through from half a penny to all-time high and two week candle two weekly gain candles here three weeks of consolidation and then four more explosive candles to follow on the weekly so collectively one two Candles up, three down, consolidation, and then four more up. All right. And then the second move was just four weekly candles, and then that was it. So I could see something similar here. I mean, we'll see how it unfolds over the next two weeks or so. But I mean, historically speaking, XRP moves up fast in small increments. So just a few weeks' time, you can see this thing explode. So uh, what I would expect to see um, honestly over the next few weeks i would not be surprised if we exploded made a new all-time high uh consolidated for a few weeks and then maybe get a move up to like the 10 15 dollar area and then consolidate for a long period of time uh, maybe almost the entire year which was kind of what we saw here 200 and something days of consolidation and then one final move up at the end of the bear market wouldn't be surprised to see something like that again until XRP shows me something different. All right. All right. We'll see what happens. Thing I wanted to show you guys today is Fabio Canasin. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. I believe he's Brazilian. But anyway, um, so he wanted to point out that yesterday Nash crossed 1 million in volume. Well, just another step in our journey, I wanted to say thank you to our amazing community and the team for relent relentless building, okay? So for those of you that don't know, Nash Exchange is uh, only valued at about 23 million, fairly low down there as far as ranking. And um, to me, it's the best decentralized exchange in existence. It's the first registered digital security in Europe. Uh, they've done it right from the beginning. They've tried to be compliant. And as I just showed you yesterday with all the, the news coming out about exchanges eventually being required to have KYC, well, a lot of these exchanges haven't played by the rules so far. So they can end up getting in trouble, whereas Nash has done everything they needed to do to be responsible from a compliance standpoint. So. If you want to check it out, I definitely recommend it. Come over to their website. Um, so to my understanding, everything I've seen, uh, Nash is the only decentralized exchange that has the feel of a centralized exchange. And I think that that's what will win eventually. You know, people right now will say, uh, well, you know, I like DEXs because they don't require KYC. Well, I think that that story will come to an end eventually. Uh, these exchanges are going to be required to be compliant. I don't think they're going to dodge regulations when it comes to finance. So uh, I think that this one, Nash is above and beyond the best decentralized exchange. And it has Bitcoin on it, not wrapped Bitcoin, the actual Bitcoin. So you can go in there and trade directly in your wallet with actual Bitcoin 
along with ERC20s, which is all Ethereum based or anything based on Ethereum, as well as a lot of different NEO uh, projects that are built on top of NEO as well. So you got Ethereum, NEO products, and then Bitcoin. So no other decentralized exchange has actual Bitcoin. Nash does, and it's compliant. And built into the project, this is my favorite part of it because I'm here to make money, all right? So Nash, right now, 1600 bucks would get you 2000 Nex tokens, all right? And what they do is if you hold Nex tokens, then you get paid a percentage of every single product or crypto that is traded on the platform. So if you come in here, look at the trading pairs, you know, you got BTC, Link, ETH, NEO. Well, let's see. Quant, gas for NEO gas. I mean, favorites, what do they got? All right, whatever. You get the point. BAT's in there as well. Uh, origin trail they have a lot they have a lot of pairs in here and if anyone comes in here and trades bitcoin you get paid a percentage of the trading fee if you own next you literally own shares of the exchange essentially and each one of these cryptos that are traded on there your portfolio will slowly build up with a, just a random accumulation of every crypto traded isn't that awesome and as I always tell people, look at my tweet here. I said, keep it coming and I'll be able to live off of my Nash dividends eventually. Those of you in crypto Twitter who don't see the value in this gym need to do some research. Most important part, owning Nash is like owning shares of a broker dealer that pays you dividends in every single stock traded. And that's a fact, all right? That's like owning Charles Schwab and then you own shares of Charles Schwab and your, your dividend payout is in shares of stocks that are traded on their platform all right this should be mind-blowing to people but only if you get it <laughs> so if nash is successful right that's this is the fun part the staking calculator okay so right now even at 100 million if they could average 100 million in volume every day like they just passed uh, a 1600 dollar investment would pay you 200 dollars a month in crypto dividends just off of 1600 dollars. that's not even realistic but it is, it is realistic because that's what's happening now, all right? So, but if you come in here and if you get Binance level volume, a $1,600 investment will pay you 10 grand a month in crypto dividends, all right? I think that they have a shot at getting up here on Binance level volume. They're gonna need to add more crypto. They're definitely gonna need to get XRP and Stellar on there somehow, in some way. Uh, I think that would be huge for them. But I mean, look, even Coinbase volume. Coinbase volume would already be $2,000 a month. And, you know, everyone hates on Coinbase and stuff. Let's look at Uniswap. So Uniswap just came out, right? A DEX that I feel is not as good as Nash. And that would still pay you $375 a month. So that's a big deal. I mean, and this is just crypto you could just sell as your passive income and, you know, coast, coast through life. You know, that's the goal here. I look for all the cryptos that are going to consistently pay me over time. This is one of them. Obviously, you're betting on um, them being successful, but I love their business idea. I think that um, there's nothing in crypto like it. There really isn't. Uh, it is a truly decentralized exchange owned by the community. The trading fees are paid out to the community. That's a big deal. All right. And it's killing Switchio. But Switchio down here at 4 million in volume on a 30 day, Nash would be higher than 40 million. Now it really would be close to 3 billion if they can consistently hit 100 million a day. But Nash used to be way behind Switchio, right? Everyone used to always compare it to Switchio because they're similar platforms and, um, you know, it's crushing Switchio now. And I expect this to continue to grow, okay? So wanted to make another next nash video so you guys know about this gym because it is a gym the price doesn't move i don't care uh it will eventually also because in order to get these staking fees say um you want to you, you get paid more the longer you lock them up 
that's perfect tokenomics too. So if people say, oh, well, I want the highest fee rewards, later on, if the exchange is killing it, you'll have no reason not to lock up for 24 months, right? So that takes out all the supply and locks it into a smart contract. You can't get it even if you wanted it, all right? So what that does is that's going to drive price up on the shares as well. So very interesting tokenomics here. Price hasn't budged. I don't care. I stick in the corner with uh, projects that are doing things right. They work with regulators or compliant and they build good products. And that's exactly what Nash is. So I definitely recommend checking out the exchange. Um, I, it's not available for US customers. Can't use it yet because they've actually been trying to be compliant. Um, but if you're in Europe, I believe you'll be able to use it. So yeah, go ahead and definitely check it out. You know, I have the the tokens, even though you can't use the actual exchange, just because I see the value. So, all right, short one here. That about wraps it up. As always, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. What is a cashless society? What does it actually mean in a literal or high level sense? Money will become like these relics of a different age and will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like these. Then Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Ben, good morning. Mobile payment transactions in China reached a cumulative total of 277.4 trillion RMB in 2018, ranking number one in the world, according to the recently released statistical report on internet development in China. As of June 2019, online payment users in the country reached 633 million. The cashless society is now approaching. When's the last time you paid with cash? Well, chances are cash has taken a backseat to the plastic in your wallet and smartphone pay apps. Denver 7's Ryan Luby explains the digital pay revolution and why not everyone is on board. The cashless society, the cashless society, the cashless society. The cashless society is now approaching. The cashless. Oh, my God.